What's up guys, it is the captain speaking and would you believe it, another upload so quickly. Um, I'm going to give you guys an update on our Clash Cup performance because that's right, Spartans Legacy is competing in the Clash Cup this time, led by Richard of course. And uh, in the first round match we faced a highly active um, or a selection of their squad. And as you can see, we came away with a very, very convincing victory right here. 10 versus 10 war, no dip war, 29 to 23 stars. So, uh, yeah, almost perfect for us. We actually left one tunnel 10 on the board. That can, of course, happen in a no dip war because, um, yeah, in the nature of the game, it uh, lies that you are not allowed to dip. So, highly active. Um, I don't know, they left 11 one start and a 10 one start. So, not the best performance from their side, I guess. Both sides actually ended up missing one attack. Um, not sure why that was, uh, but yeah, it's whatever, I guess. I mean, their second tunnel 12 attack, I think they had lost already. So I guess that's why they did not use it. But anyways, guys, that's not what this is all about. We want to watch some nice attacks and there were a couple really nice ones. So let's go ahead, check them out as I already mentioned. So first of all, we're going to have Monster coming in right here on number 10, showing us his skills with uh, the kill squad Hawk attack right here. Brings in the Battle Ram, of course, a nice little Hawk there on the Tesla as well to improve the funnel. This is a fresh hit, by the way, so um, that might um, change how you look at how he is doing certain things. So yeah, fresh hit. Uh, Queen is coming in right here. She targets the enemy BK, and we see the Lava Hound coming out. That's definitely not something you want to see whenever you're attacking with a big kill squad, but um, he's going to be able to deal with it. Oh, a, a wizard and an uh, archer with the Lava Hound, so he doesn't really have to worry about any balloons killing his troops. Um, so that's definitely uh, something that he has going for him. BK is taking some damage, so he's going to use the ability right there. And the Queen is finally going to pop the Lava Hound. Poison spell is going to be coming down uh, pretty soon here. Yeah, there we go. Um, to help deal with those Lava Pops, obviously. And some pretty nice value that he got for the kill squad. The basis looks a bit weird to me. Um, but it is what it is, you know. You gotta attack what you're facing. And uh, yeah, in come the Hoggies here from the 130 side. Drops them very heavy in the beginning. That's always what you want to do with Hog attacks. Um, at pretty much like all Tano levels nowadays. With how the meta is and how... Uh, the Infernos are not blocking any healing and stuff like that. It's not really the time to drop the Hawk Surgical anymore. But yeah, they are going to be making their way in. The Queen did finally die. She stayed alive for a really long time. Got some awesome, awesome value right there. And uh, safe to say that this kill squad worked out very, very, very well for him. And yeah, we're going to have times two here. As he's going to be swagging one heal spell. So that's definitely pretty nice. Whenever you can, you know, swag some spells. But, uh, yeah, it's of course all about the triple. The rest is just byproducts. But, yeah, a very nice hit by Monster. And that brings us on up to the next attack, which is going to be by uh, Oreo. Let's see. I wanted to watch, I think, this one. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. So Oreo doing some uh, kill squad Lalo here, actually. Uh, this is a cleanup, so we attempted this base before with suicide Lalo. However, the suicide mission of those heroes did not quite go to plan, so Oreo decides to um, toss in the battle ram right here, and that actually ended up working a treat. So the BK just being used uh, for some funneling here. Battle ram is going to be coming in, of course, to tank for the queen. And uh, that way he's going to be able to get deep enough into the base. We've got some minions over at the top trying to uh, kill that gold mine to keep the queen inside the base. Right now you would think it's looking really good for killing the enemy queen. Um, however, his queen is actually going to swing up towards the top, which is not quite ideal. The Valkyries, though, they at least kill the witch. They're going to stay away from uh, the queen, though, which is uh, not quite ideal for him. The queen ability, though, is finally going to be able to take out the rest of the enemy queen, the Inferno Tower and the Baby Dragon, I think died to the poison there, not quite sure. But yeah, then Oreo is going to be coming in with uh, uh, two lava, no, three lava hounds actually. Three lava hounds and uh, a whole host of balloons. He only has uh, a couple of minions for cleanup, but that's actually going to be all he needs. He's going to be laloing behind the sweepers here nicely, making his way throughout the base in the 
good old counterclockwise fashion. And uh, yeah, those X balls in the middle actually the main worry, but is able to take those out uh, pretty nicely. Heal spell going in at this point, actually only the free spell left. However, he is going to have enough. This ended up actually being quite close on time. We're gonna go times two speed here because uh, the rest of this cleanup is very slow. He frees the wizard tower right there. Very nice use of that uh, free spell which he had left. And then yeah, it, he is gonna be able to outlast it. It was kind of close. This also was uh, the second to last triple that we actually got in the war. So everybody was definitely pretty hyped about like how close this was and how we did end up getting it. Just avoiding the time for right there. Great job to Oreo who actually drops the six pack inside this war. So that's of course extra big. There we go. Oreo and Oreo on number seven, number eight. That's of course extra big. Um, in these kind of wars where we uh, like don't even have so many people in. Uh, you know, dropping the six pack. Definitely beautiful stuff. And, uh, you know, guys, it's the time of... Uh, it's the, the days where Maxwell is featuring the Witch Slap on his channel. <laughs> because why not? We featured Jesus in the last video. We're gonna feature DT in this one. Uh, those two guys, very similar in their attacking manners. Pretty much always Witch Slapping and uh, always smashing it so consistent and of course like as i mentioned it's important to have have them uh with us because somebody has got to be able to do these attacks because they are still so strong and so effective on certain types of bases and this one right here uh, is one of them so there he goes with the heal spell it's going to be coming in and the free spell on the eagle artillery we see that pretty often you would think that uh, you would freeze the Inferno Tower more often than not. But uh, actually, um, DT and Jesus, they both freeze the Eagle quite frequently as well. Jump spells always sort of flex. The Queen does end up taking out the Inferno Tower right here. And then we're going to times two. Through the rest of this one, guys, the Battle Ram actually survives all the way until the Town Hall. Queen is going to take out one more cannon. And that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm going to times four through the rest. And uh, yeah. Beautiful hit by DT, very nice stuff. Grabbing us the triple on base number four. And uh, then we do have number three getting taken out by uh, Yoba right here. And we've got some kill squad hawk action on tunnel 11. We already saw it on tunnel 10, now we have it on tunnel 11 as well. So Yoba is going to be tossing a baby dragon on one side of this funnel, two Valkyries for the other side. So funnel a little bit heavy but for a kill squad as big as this you gotta do what you gotta do enable in order to uh, ensure that your kill squad goes where you want it to go because if you dedicate so many troops to your kill squad um yeah you definitely need to to make sure it uh, goes the right way or else you're probably gonna be doomed for your entire attack shout out to doomkip but uh, yeah, the free spell in this case also once again going down on the eagle artillery. We're gonna have the BK taking out the enemy queen who nicely hops this wall. So uh, the, although his queen is hanging back, uh, she can freely take out some more buildings because the BK already killed the queen. Now the hawk drop, in my opinion, he goes a bit light on the hawk drop here in the beginning. Just what I mentioned with uh, the last hawk attack that we saw because you can actually see... He ends up dropping uh, more Hawks on the same Wizard Tower right there. So yeah, guys, you always want to go heavy on your um, Hawk deployment. In, whenever you do a Hawk attack, go very heavy in the beginning and really map it out. You know, you can always map it out and see what defenses am, am I going to need to dedicate Hawks onto later. And you will find out that oftentimes that is not actually not that many defenses. So yeah. Here we go, and this one is actually going to end up being crazy close as well because of the giant bomb that you guys are going to see pretty soon here. There we go, the giant bomb kills the uh, one hawk. We've got the um, had the spring trap as well, and then the bomb tower is going to kill the other hawks. And watch the cleanup, guys, because this one is pretty funny, actually. First of all, we have the minions taking out this elixir storage. Okay, that's all nice and dandy. He drops in the wizard on this king pad. And now watch. One of these wizards going to turn around, lure the king away from the king pad, and the back end wizard is going to one-shot that king pad. So <laughs> that was quite funny and definitely a bit lucky. And the rest is going to be the queen with her ability taking out this final Tesla. And that's going to be all she wrote for base number three. I believe this was a fresh hit as well. I'm not quite sure. Could be wrong, but yeah. 
And then, guys, we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Jim Salabim coming in on base number one, grabbing uh, the 12v12 triple right here. We ended up tripling both of their tunnel 12s. Other one was tripled by Richard, but uh, actually with uh, mass minus, so we're not going to watch that one. It's not too exciting. You know, got to do what you got to do. Um... But uh, yeah, we're not gonna, not really gonna watch that one. We've seen so many great triples by, by Rich. We don't need to watch uh, a mess minor one. So, um, in this case, actually, Jimbo right here is coming in to clean up on uh, Richard's uh, attack, who actually hit the space first, and the queen charge failed. So Jimbo making a nice little adjustment by bringing in the battle ram and making the queen charge easier. And more consistent, he's going to be making his way straight into the middle of the base, where, of course, the enemy queen is waiting alongside the town hall, which is some crazy good value to queen charge out of the base. Here we go with the rage spell. The warden ability is going to be used. That is pretty smart because it's actually going to save uh, the healers from switching to the warden so much as well. Um, he starts his Lalo a little bit too far on the bottom here because the queen actually takes out those defenses. But... Uh, uh, you know, he's uh, been really busy lately uh, with with real life from what I heard, so he's probably a bit rusty on his Lalo. Usually he's really good with it as well, but uh, the rest of this one is going to work out very nicely. Queen uses her ability to get through the enemy king. We've got one haste spell, and then one haste spell left. He's actually going to be using the haste spell to take out the main threat that is left, which is actually, believe it or not, the wizard tower, guys. So he uses the loot that he has left on the back end. Hastes them into the wizard tower, takes out the wizard tower, and it's going to be beautiful, the end of this attack. Very, very nice job. Jim Zalabim with some magic on base number one, sealing the deal for Spartan's Legacy here inside round one of the Clash Cup. I don't want to make this video too long, guys, just a short and sweet recap. I'm probably going to be recapping the other wars as well. We're going to have round two match tomorrow. Round 3 match on Wednesday, so plenty of war action coming up here, guys. Stay tuned to the channel. Until that time, the captain will see you all later. Peace out.